this is our first reaction going down the Tommy Johansson's hole. Uh, yeah. Wait, that what? doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, going down the, this rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're... Gonna, we, we we're may, gonna go there more. <laughs> yeah, we may do. We may. We, we may. Do, oh, you're coughing off guard. There. You. We may do others. Yeah. Welcome to the Rock and Round Table. My name is Matthias. And I'm Shay. Today we have one of my favorite songs, all-time favorite songs, "Future oh. World." It's a cover, Tommy Johansson from Majestica and previously Sabaton. If you haven't checked out his Side note, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you should. He he is just incredible. He he does all these covers of great, great bands. And in this case, mm -hmm. we're gonna look into the Halloween song Future World. But he has done Gary Moore and and yeah, I, I can't even name everything he like has done. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah. And uh, the production is just absolutely incredible. He plays all the instruments. Mm -hmm. And he sings, obviously. Mm -hmm. If you if you know about Tommy Johansson, you know what a great singer he is. And uh, yeah, so so again, the a cover of Halloween's Future World, written by Kai Hansen. And on this song, he has his uh, friend Petter, who also plays in uh, Majestica. He plays in a band called Mad Hatter as well. Great, great singer. Great, great guitar player. So. It's a like a duo thing. And yeah, let's check it out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give a reaction, a review, and our rating. Yeah, make sure to do that. You don't want to miss that because we're going to give it deep, deep details. Talk <laughs> up about 45 minutes. <laughs> deep dive down the hole. Anyway, let's roll.
Yeah. They sound identical. The all Swedes have a voice like that and great hair. Yes, we okay. do. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, that's the, the hair specifically. That's um, where we shine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, shine. Shine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, what a great cover. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This holy moly. Wow. Tommy Johansson and Petter. I can't remember his last name, but wow. What the quality. The thing is, when you make covers, you, you can get there like pretty close. These guys, they are killing it. And, and yeah. especially vocally. I mean, everything, but vocally. Think about Michael Kiske, who is the original song singer for for Halloween, and then the other one. So now they're both yeah. they're both touring, and they're both in the band now. Because I've seen the, them yeah. twice with the both. Yes, uh, but yeah. when this album came out, it was only Michael Kiske. Okay, yeah. Okay. And to your point, seeing them live now, he still sings as well, and he's he's like fifty six years old, wow. and, and still has this voice, <laughs> uh, that yeah. high pitch voice. Controlled, beautiful singing. Well, well, okay, so yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. When since they're both in the band now, mm-hmm. live, they will they would probably sing the song this way, take turns. You know what I mean? Like it's a duet, because yeah, that's the way it would be now. And so the way Tommy and, and oh, Petra okay, did, they it. did yeah. it the kind of the same way. Yeah. Okay. Now I see what you're like saying. A, like the yeah. current version, in a way. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and yeah. and both Tommy and Petter. They sing really well. Oh my goodness! And play I, guitar. I, I, uh, it was just amazing. And good hair. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a great, great cover. And like we said in the beginning, Tommy Johansson, check out his YouTube channel. We put the link in the description below because he he really makes these covers shine. I mean. It, they're good to begin with, but he just adds another layer to it. Well, I always like the original the best, but when it comes to covers, if you if you can't do it well, don't do it at all. Right. But he can do it really well. And this is our first reaction going down the Tommy Johansson's hole. Uh, yeah. Wait, that what? doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, going down the, this rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're... Gonna, we, we we're may, gonna go there more. <laughs> yeah, we may do. We may. We, we may. Do, oh, you're coughing off guard. There. You. We may do others. Yeah, because before we, because this one came out. Was it today or yesterday? It, yes, uh, today, March first. Yeah, Nin- and nineteen twenty four. Nineteen twenty twenty four. Whoops. Oh God. Uh, memories. Anyway, yeah. So, and you know, who doesn't want to, you know, watch and react? Talent, you know what I mean? Good music yeah. and... And I'm drinking Liquid Death. I don't know if you have that in Europe yet. Um, just pure water from the depths of hell. Very good. Mountain water. <laughs> if you're going to drink water, drink Liquid Death. Drink Liquid Death, yes. Please do. Okay, well... Um, it's not much to say about this song. We, we mentioned that this is the German band Halloween. Their song came out, I think mm-hmm. it came out in 1988 on Keeper of the Seven Keys. Mm-hmm. Wow. Kai okay. Hansen, uh, who also left the band and came back with Michael. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, so Kai Hansen, what a great songwriter. A lot of these hits from Keeper of the Seven Keys 1 and 2, he wrote. And um, yeah, we, um, I've been a fan of this band for many decades now. Oh, God, I'm aging myself, but <laughs> it is what it, it makes is. One of us, <laughs> yeah, it makes one of us. <laughs> and uh, German power metal. I mean, Halloween was one of the founders of the genre power metal. I'd say Halloween and maybe Blind Guardian were two of the first ones, and then you had Accept, who started playing double bass drums and kind of really fast heavy metal. So I, I put them in that bucket as well. But regardless, great, great music from Germany in general. So Halloween is one of the bands. And Tommy and Petter did an exceptional job covering this wonderful song, Future World. 
So I'm about to give my rating. Yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 Marshall Stacks. I wow. mean, how could I not? I mean, it, just incredible. <sighs> yeah. Uh, wow. 10 out of 10. That was... Unexpected. Should I rethink that? No, no, I, I don't. I don't think you should. I, and I'm like, I'm rethinking mine because I, mine, I was not really sure what to, what kind of rating to give because it's a cover song, but having that in mind, having Tommy and his friend Petter, mm -hmm. when they do such a great job, I'm gonna give this ten out of ten as well. Woo, woo, woo. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, <laughs> what do you think? Should we do more reactions of cover songs like this, or should we keep doing original artists? Who says we're, this is an original artist channel? Who says that? Who said that? We're not. I mean, I think uh, we, I think we should continue. Yeah. If it's good, it's good. Yeah. You know, that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. If it's good, it's good. And the thing with Tommy Johansson's his his covers he and his YouTube channel in general is very entertaining, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just his talent and not only us here sitting at the Rock and Round Table, a lot of people in the around the world have found him and his channel and his talent. I think he has over two hundred thousand subscribers now, and he's not been around for more than a year on YouTube. So, yeah. just incredible. Yeah. We've got to see him with Sabaton quite a few times, but yes. he just recently left, exited that band, but um, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. And we met him. We met him and took photos with him in person. Oh, yeah, we did. At, at the Rock. Sweden Rock Festival in 2022. And what a sweet person. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't. And uh, he, ha he has his own band called Majestica. Mm -hmm. with oh links links yeah. in the description box as well. Mm -hmm. Great band, similar music to this actually. And Petter, who, who was in this video, he is also part of that band. So I can't wait to see them live. Wow. Yeah, I know they're going to play in Europe this year, uh, this summer on mm -hmm. different festivals, but yeah, maybe they will tour the US as well. That would be good. It just feels like we have to go back to Europe. Uh, not this year, maybe, but maybe 2025, hit those festivals. Sweden Rock Festival, maybe Wacken, Hellfest, um, we'll Copenhagen. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. But it, if we it's go cool. to Copenhagen. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, that kind of wraps up this video for today. And uh, yeah, if you like this content, you know, you know the drill, right? Hit like, please subscribe, and um, hit that notification bell and comment below. Please suggest. Maybe other Tommy Johansson videos we should review and react to, or others. And also, please share this video. We want to make sure a lot of people around the world get to know Tommy Johansson and can see and hear his talent. Keep it going, folks. Yeah. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.